So recently I decided to put together a Soviet naval infantry uniform. Um, and I wanted to show you the difference between an original and a reproduction because there's, there are originals out there, but if you're like me and you've got a massive head, I wear like 61, 62 size hat, just ginormous. Um, they don't come much bigger than 60. That's literally as big as these original hats come. This one, I want to say from the original marking was from the eighties. But anyways, these are pretty scarce. The typical size that I found on eBay were 55, 57, 58 in that range, um, which was not going to fit me. So I put a hat stretcher to it and it fits okay. It does. It's, it's tight. Um, if I shave my head completely, it fits pretty good, but a little bit of hair growth and it's just no dice. So I decided I was going to pick up a reproduction and see how that stacked up against the original. Uh, so it's kind of why I'm putting this together just kind of as a information guide. If you guys are out there looking for it, uh, this current hat is the Baltic fleet and a quick overall view of it. This hat was basically unissued when I got it. I've worn it maybe two or three times now. Um, and just around the house, trying to get comfortable with it. And it's rubbed off some of the original marking, but you can clearly still see that it's 60. Overall, it's a good quality hat. Um, if you don't have a ginormous head like I do, this isn't going to be a huge issue. But anyways, there's that one. I pick up this one from a hat manufacturer they're out of Pakistan you can very clearly see there is a huge quality difference between the hats uh, the peak is all kinds of wrong this is much rounder look at it it's basically round all the way this one's more oval this is closer to like a visor peak on a German style hat uh, as my closest reference point, it was really pointy when I first got it. Uh, sorry, I bumped the tripod. I had to flatten out the image, the brim on the inside, and what I think a metal rod or whatever they're using in here to keep it shape, bent that down a little bit. Uh, this is the Training Academy. I want to say that this is original because you can still get these ribbons. They're not terribly expensive, and they're out there. And if you look at the lettering, the gold... It is pretty good. Same thing with the sea anchors on the back half. Right there. It's very similar to the original ones. I want to say that the ribbon is original on this. But that's about it. Um, the star in the oak leaves is pretty much lacking in detail and the horrible paint job if you compare that to the original hat much finer detail there is very clearly a burst pattern in the star there is kind of but it's not great i'm gonna ditch this i'm gonna set it up as world war ii as opposed to the post-war style hat anyways and the inside is a dead giveaway that this is a reproduction um, I have a reproduction Imperial Japanese Meiji era hat, and it has the same style of leather sweatband. It's good quality. Overall, construction is pretty good. It's just not accurate to the original hat and kind of synthetic silk on the inside. It is a little big for me, even at 62. Um, but I never know how to feel about these reproductions. Sometimes I get them and they fit. Sometimes I get them and they don't fit at all. The Imperial Japanese Meiji hat that I got, I went through three sizes. I went 62, too big, 61, still too big. And finally I got a 60 and it fit just fine. But the 60 fits like a 62. I don't know about their quality control on these hats or what they're using as mannequins or what, but that's just been my experience. I might get another one of these in a 61 just to see how that fits. Um, but it this fits just fine. I'll probably just stitch in a liner on this side to make up for the size difference. And that should be okay. 
um, when I was wearing it early today, I put a basically a neckerchief on the inside to make up for the difference, and it was padded and it fit just fine. But again, just for costuming purposes, um, and then eventually it'll just go on a display mannequin. It won't really matter, but a even the style of slouch and the way the visor well the top of the brim of the hat is made it stands very proud up here again kind of like a german visor cap whereas if you look at the original it's very very much straight um and the the material this is very clearly a felt type material it's very thin you can see whereas this I don't know what this stuff is made out of. It looks pretty close to the original, but it's very, it's pretty much padded, and it smells like brand new shoes kind of smell, synthetic plastic smell. Um, not a huge deal, but I just wanted to point that out. And the star is not anywhere near the center. Uh, this one's... A little high but not uncommon in this particular style in the footage well in the pictures that I've been able to reference but definitely different and the other big difference is that this ribbon is permanently sewn together see how it comes together like that sorry about the tripod whereas on the original hat there is a string running at a 45 degree angle and there's another string that runs at this at a 90 degree angle and the ribbon goes through comes over and then laps under which is important because you can change the ribbon depending on which fleet you're you're going to be at um like this is naval academy so obviously when you get out of the naval academy you're not going to be wearing this ribbon in the baltic fleet i've got another ribbon uh i'll do black seas fleet because that's who i want the uniform to reflect is the the black doubles or the black death of the Black Sea Fleet. Uh, the guys who stopped the German assault at Sevastopol, which is in the Crimea. But anyways, those are just kind of the difference between the two. Um, yeah, like I said, I got this from a hat maker. He was on, they're on eBay. There's another hat maker. I don't know if it's the same people or what or if they're sourcing from the same thing but they got two different ebay stores to get more sales i think that if i get a size 61 i'll probably order from the other hat manufacturer this one was ten dollars cheaper but then shipping was ten dollars more so it sort of balances each other's out but i'm just gonna work with this one for the time being again it's not huge this one I don't have an issue sorry my phone bleep wearing it if I damage it whatever it's a repro it didn't cost me that much that one I think I'll just keep with the Baltic fleet and I've got some more modern Soviet equipment I can kind of wear with this um, so it's not a huge loss but that's kind of just the difference between the two if there are other guys like me out there who want some of the Soviet stuff and were curious about the reproduction. Um, that's my overall experience so far. But yeah, definitely. And even the liner is different. Like this is synthetic gray leather. And then you can see the construction inside the hat. There's cardboard making the base of it. This is a very light hat. This is a little heavier, but... And then they tied it together with a little bow. How adorable, but that's a little bit more modern construction. More than likely, the rim of the hat has got a plastic. You can hear it, it's plastic. But overall, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Okay, another real quick thing here, even though it's kind of just, I'm just going to edit this onto the end of the, the video, but uh, I just went to remove the star from the reproduction hat, 
and it is very different. So this is clearly a casting. You can hear it. Um, and the way it's mounted is totally different. They've got these two nails just sort of brazed on. And this is the way it's supposed to be mounted. This is a slightly older style star. It's actually intended to be worn with a garrison cap. But again, I wanted a World War II style hat, so I bought this. But this is tin. It is stamped. And the way it's mounted is they have these two centered legs. And then you push it through the hat, spread the legs apart. It fastens it to the hat. On the original, there is actually a hole in the middle of the hat that allows that to happen. On this hat, there is nothing. I'll probably have to go and sharpen the two legs and just punch it through the hat. But again, it's a repro, so it's not that important. But... What is kind of interesting is in the casting, you can see in the center of the star where that leg should have attached. And for whatever reason, they decided they were going to cast the backside. I've taken this star off. I originally put this one on it, and then I didn't like it and went back to that one. That was when I decided to buy this hat. But in anyways, that's besides the point. Um, again, just another difference between the reproduction and the original. But anyways, if you watched this bit of the part, again, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, a final bit at the very end here. Uh, filming it the next morning because I got done with alterations to the reproduction hat at like 1030 at night. And I just called it. But I wasn't really going to do it, but I figured, eh, might as well show it off because it's already done. But you can see that I replaced the replica star with a earlier style star. It's not quite centered, but that's okay. And then on the back here, I went through and added the drawstrings, like I said I would, uh, if you guys are interested. I started here, looped it twice, went up, and then I came across, and then I went down, there's Jack, and then I went back and up, back over came down and finished it right there so looks pretty good pretty close to the original and the original the length of the string is about an inch um the gap in the middle a little wider than i would prefer i think on the original it's only this wide but being the fact that this hat was already made i was kind of limited to what i could do and but other than that the ribbon is on there correctly it is now the Black Seas Fleet. The other thing I noticed when I was working on this hat is that the body of the hat is much taller than on the original. On the original, this white line or this right trimming here sits right on top of that ribbon. So that means the whole height of this hat is maybe another half an inch taller than it needs to be. The brim also doesn't look correct it's standing way too proud but again it's because the the peak of the hat itself is modeled after a more modern military visor cap as opposed to a naval service cap um no one's really going to notice uh but about the same time i would say you know cue the iCarly reference your costume's impressive quite impressive Thank you. In some ways. And then you can duke it out yourself. But yeah, it's standing very, very tall. And originally, like I said, this is a size 62, or allegedly it's a size 62. It's pretty big. And I was going to put a liner in it. That's actually what this used to be. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Just a piece of denim. I had it inside the hat. I was wearing it this morning. And it fit pretty good. It fit actually kind of like an army helmet where it was suspended. But while wearing it outside, watching this dude, I noticed it was getting really warm. And then I remembered I had some airsoft padding that I had left over from when I was working on a Kamen Rider helmet. So I just put the adhesive Velcro thing in here and I put two pads. There's a, I think a metal framework on the inside of this and when you don't have anything there you actually feel it 
rub quite hard on your forehead. So now it's a little lighter without the whole denim padding thing. But that's essentially what we're looking at now. Should be completely serviceable. And that's it. So if you finally got it through all three sections and you made it to the end, thanks for watching, guys.